give me one second. Okay, sorry. Okay. 10,080 minutes in 168 hours in one week, with 150 new people from 100 different cities in one camp. It was the summer before my senior year. We drove six miles through narrow, winding roads and closed with trees to a camp unlike no other. It wasn't your typical camp with glistening lakes to swim in or arts and crafts to glue together. It was a place where there was guest speakers and self-reflecting, learning the importance of feeling like you can conquer the obstacles ahead. And towards the end of camp, we put what we learned into a poem. Our, you entered camp with matching shirts, wooden cabins, and glaciers of glass. Sorry, in glaciers of in glaciers of grass. Our poem inspiration began with Cho. Cho was our speaker, the sweetest, oldest lady you could ever meet. She allowed us to become vulnerable with each other and showed us. Sorry. Can I sit down? It really. Is. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> on learning about the importance of being able to conquer the obstacles ahead. And towards the end of camp, we put what we learned into a poem. You entered camp with matching shirts, wooden cabins, and glaciers of grass. And, but our poem inspiration was about Cho. Cho was the sweetest, oldest lady you could have ever met. And she allowed us to become vulnerable with one another and share how we had similar like struggles but different backgrounds. And it all began with sitting in a circle. So we sit in a circle in the grass that could wrap around Dexter Lawn. And there we had microphones. And she passed and we passed it through the circle. And she asked us to share about the time that we cried the most. One girl shared about her depression, another about her dog dying. I shared about my parents going through a divorce. But then we went through the circle again. And this time we shared about our happiest moment. Some guy shared about his first camping trip, another about their sister being born. I shared about my adventures with my brothers. And after this activity, we wrote this. You can't live without happiness, and you can't sing without soul. You can't live without yourself, the world will never know. You're capable of anything that you set yourself out for. Just believe, believe, and to have a little hope. This camp gave us all something unexpected. A reflection on how the saddest moments are the hardest to get through but are worth it because you can truly enjoy the happiest ones. That you needed to believe in yourself before anything else. Truthfully, it inspired our senior year, where college applications and graduation and the question of your future made you really just doubt your abilities. And it gave us something to really inspire to and look back to. And we knew it sounded really cliche when we wrote it, about hope self-reflecting, you're a better person. But it helped me get through one of the hardest years, especially at the end of 2018. So I encourage you to find an art piece that you can look back on that pushes you through the hardest moments in your life, like this poem does for me.